What is up, everyone? This is me, Prasanna Balakrishnan, back again. This time for the fan cam of Chennai in FC2, Odisha 1. Finally, Chennai get a win after three games, two draws and one loss, in which we scored one goal and the other two games we didn't score a goal. After the first two games, which we won, now we have 11 points from our six games. And uh, hopefully we can carry on from here. Before I go into this fan cam, I would like all of you to hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to get any notifications on when I upload videos like this or go live. You might be wondering what the where the fuck I've been all this along. Um, I've been traveling and some weekday stuff, so I couldn't um, do my normal stuff. Hopefully, I can be more regular um, from now on. Traveling to India next month on vacation, so hopefully, I can do more and more videos of this. And uh, Chennai beat Odisha two one. We were much by far the better side. Uh, in this game, we played well uh, from start to finish. We sort of periods where Odisha kind of had the momentum, but overall, I think we controlled the game well. Um, we basically, Chennai had two changes to the lineup. Um, they brought in uh, German Preet instead of Edwin and Midland instead of uh, Lucas. Um, those were the two changes. Um, and we started the game off quite well. We had good amount of possession. But again, the usual problem is we create chances, but we fail to score. We had 20 shots today. Yes, I said this right. We had two zero shots today compared to Odisha FC's 10. And we could only score two goals. It should have been more. The decision making in some parts were absolutely poor. But I think we played well overall. In, except for the finishing, we defended well. We went um, forward well. Our midfield was solid. Um, standout performances, Slavko Damjanovic, absolutely fantastic. He's been superb ever since he's been here. Uh, Adel Borishok has been um, confident in midfield. Uh, Vladimir Koman, he has been absolutely superb. Um, yes, Rafa is not there, but he is doing extremely well to cover that position. And Midland today played very well uh, till he went off. Um, Anil Tapa, he ran non-stop for 90 minutes. He had a superb game. Um, there were some moments here and there where you can say, okay, you can improve here, you can improve there. But overall, I think we had a very good game. Uh, we had a positive game. We were on the front foot for most of the game. We went sitting back to, uh, defensively um, just to try and uh, just to try and, like get a clean sheet. Um, we saw Keith after last game when he made an absolute howler, randomly coming out for a, a throw in and conceding that goal. He's done like that once previous as well. But today he didn't have much wrong with him. Um, he came out well. Um, he judged um, um, the crosses correctly, albeit they were not too much. Uh, that's why I think we defended well. Part of your def um, part of your protection to the goalkeeper is trying to protect the crosses, and uh, we did that well in parts today. Uh, Regan had a decent game. Uh, Jerry had a good game. Uh, Narayan was um, off in moments, but overall, I think he still had a good game. He could have been sent off. Um, he was on a yellow when he made a challenge, and that was. And on another day, he could have been sent out. But overall, I think he had a pretty good game. All of the team, I think the the, the team played well. Even the substitutes that came on, uh, Raheem Ali played well. Uh, Lucas uh, he played well, although he missed the penalty. Uh, but he was lively. He was always creating uh, nuisance for the opposition defense. He was winning headers whenever a long ball goes in. He wins the header first, and that in turn sets up an attack for us. Um, it should have been four or five today. The amount of chances we had and the decision making was missing in parts. Um, Edwin also came on. Uh, it was nice to see Syed Sohail Pasha, the son of uh, our assistant coach um, um, Syed Pasha. Um, he he had some min he had like probably one minute to show uh, what he was capable of. He had probably one or two touches. Nintoy came on. Hopefully they can be. Um, used more and more this season because the games will come thick and fast. Our next game is against Kerala on 22nd. And after that, we play Bangalore on 30th. And, and after that, we play Jamshedpur on 2nd. So games are coming thick and fast and you do need rotations. And God willing, uh, we don't have any injuries and we can carry on this momentum. Um, so that's about it. Uh, we should have uh, kept a clean sheet at the end. But um, we did frustrate that attack a bit. Jonathan, we frustrated him. Adidai, he had a good shot which hit the post. But apart from that, we kind of kept him quiet. Um, we frustrated ja um, Javi Hernandez, who although at the end, he had a fantastic goal. And Narayandas um, sort of stopped him from coming onto his left because we know he has a strong left foot. Um, 
Changte again, he has moments, but he had a one-on-one -on -one in this just at the start of the second half. Um, before Disha kind of took control for some part of the time, he should have made it 2-0. And he had other moments where his decision moment should have been much better. He has time, but he's just taking the extra step. He's just taking the extra touch. But at this level, you cannot afford that. Um, he was lucky. He was kind of bailed out by the two goals we had today. If that was probably nil-nil or one-nil, we would have been cussing him a lot more. But uh, yeah, there are parts where we can improve. But overall, I think we had a very good game today. And... Uh, these are the stats from the game. We had more possession, 56% compared to that, 44%. We had more successful passes. We had a more better completion rate. We had just six shots on target compared to that four, but we totally had about 20 shots, and that was um, that's where you have to improve. We had lesser crosses compared to them. Um, they had like 16 crosses, but uh, none of them really tested Vishal Kate, um, so to say. Uh, defensively, we did well. We intercepted well, and... Um, Overall, we did have a good game and it was good to get a win. Good to see German Prix scoring. Good to see Midland scoring. That absolute banger. Um, I don't know how he was given that time, all the time in the world to pick his spot. Uh, German Preet, um, even that goal was good. It came off a cross. Um, there was a little bit uh, haphazard happening in the box. The Odisha defenders couldn't clear it. Uh, goalkeeper was on the ground. A German... Still had much to do though, because there were two Russian defenders on the line, and he did well to get the shot in between them. And uh, this are the standings. We are currently up to third position, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we are up to third. Obviously, Hyderabad FC they have a game in hand, and they play FC Goa. We are currently four points off the top, which is where I want us to aim for. Yes, the playoffs are the expectation, but. Kind of my and many expectations are that we should go for the top. And generally, when you go for the top, you don't always finish there. You end up one or two points lower. But you have to aim high in order to even get there. And I think that's where we did well. Uh, we are currently four points off top. There's still a lot of games to go. There's still 14 games to play. Anything can happen. But uh, yeah, today it went well. It started, my week, started off my weekend off on a good note. And... Uh, Four days later, we play Kerala Blasters and hopefully we can get a win over them as well and go up and up the table. Thank you. That's about my match review. Thank you everyone for watching this. If you know this channel, hit the like button and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to get notifications whenever I upload videos like this. I will be posting another fan cam from an Odisha FC fan. He's from the Juggernauts. I couldn't do the combined fan cam because of some internet issues. Hopefully we can do the better one next time. But as I keep saying at the end of every single video, we are still in the midst of a pandemic. And now due to this new Omicron variant, it still got worse. So stay safe, stay home, and wash them hands always. Thank you, everyone.